concussions among high school football players have been rising. Better quality helmets and better tackling techniques could help prevent this injury among high school athletes. Stephen Hall investigates what our football coaches are doing to reduce the potential fatal injury. In the past month, three high school football players have died due to fatal hits in football. Football has the most concussions than any other sport at 33%. Concussions are very common in football today, and the NFL has admitted to injuries that cause permanent brain damage due to incidents that happen on the field. Jared Baker tells us about his past concussion and the ways his own helmet has helped him prevent further concussions. I've gotten three concussions before, and after you get your first, it's a whole lot easier to get them. And I got two in one season in a matter of three games in my last one, so we had to go out and get this one. Alex Williams explains how he felt when he experienced his concussion. Uh, yes, my seventh grade year, not in the high school, but in the middle school, yes, uh, I was um, running down the field full speed at a kid and went down the sidelines with him and we went helmet to helmet and I lost the vision in my eye for a little bit. Blood vessels between the brain and skull can be damaged and leak. Swelling can put more pressure on the brain and can push brain tissue into the spine. One third of former NFL athletes will develop dementia, Alzheimer's disease, or other debilitating neurological disorders like Parkinson's and ALS. Traumatic brain injuries happen in an instant, like a hard hit in football, but the effects are long lasting. Ben Leeton explains his symptoms of his concussion and how he tried going back onto the field to play. Uh, apparently during the game, I asked the uh, trainer the same question seven times I didn't know. And I still went in, but like I forgot to go in on some of my plays. And so, I mean, I'm, I'm actually sort of grateful for that. But I still went in and still got tackled, still got hit pretty hard. But it was like the first play of the game. It was on kickoff return. And apparently, I mean, it wasn't that bad of a hit. But it was just the fact that it's where you got hit. And depending on the helmet you wear, it can just differ on how hard it hits you. Yes, we do. We provide a lot of helmets for our kids. But some of our players still insist on buying their own, which is you know, that's their right to do. And I know if I was a parent, I don't want to make sure my sons were wearing the, the best helmet on top of the line of the market. Coach Schatzer talks about how he coaches to help prevent concussions. Well, you know, we, just, we, we practice fundamental tackling just about every day, uh, especially in the, in the preseason when kids haven't tackled in a while. We, we really concentrate on tackling and the proper technique this spring. Today, all football coaches at any level are enrolled in the Heads Up program, saying this will help reduce concussions because it will help teach better ways to tackle. Well, now with the youth football being so important, that coaches are now all certified in the Heads Up program, and that's a, it's a new program launched by USA Football to, to get coaches trained properly on how to tackle in the right way and how to notice concussion symptoms and things like that. Before, when you got your bell rung, you just went back out there and toughed it out. Now, you know, if a kid even complains about dizziness, we have to be proactive, not reactive. Coach Schatzer gives us his conclusion on concussion safety. In the last couple years, you know, Concussions have been at the forefront, with, uh, especially with former players and, and their post-playing careers and their illnesses, and that's just something that we have to be mindful of as a football staff. This is Stephen Hall, OTVX.